Welcome to Carol Consultancy Group's Micro Snacks or Snack Bike Trainings. And I'm here with my good friend and brother, Diego Castro from Argentina, a raw food chef who is going to help us today to really understand how do we use food to build our immune systems, to stay healthy, and to, uh, yeah, in this COVID crisis, uh, be strong, be strong. And so, Diego, welcome to the call all the way from Buenos Aires. Good to, Thank see, you, Good to see you. So how are things in, in Argentina, just quickly, just to start with, uh, with the COVID yeah. crisis? Everybody's inside. Hi, everyone. First of all, good to see you, Tim. And everybody in Buenos Aires is inside. Uh, we start the quarantine uh, about two weeks ago. Um, and some people are moving in the streets. Uh, actually, I'm one of them because right. people are involved in, in making food and, and restaurants and supermarkets we are allowed to go here and there i i love to spend more time here in my place and i'm very calm and quiet and very focused on washing my hands and and actually um getting the right nutrition and supplements correct excellent and that's that's a big topic we're going to talk about today in the next several minutes um, I've noticed for sure that when I go grocery shopping at the Bahamas here, people are really diving into the live food, you know, the food that is full of enzymes and full of health and uh, nutrition. And, you know, people are definitely doing that to build their immune systems here. So what I'd love to get from you today is some tips on, um, you know, for our listeners, how can we really build our immune system? What, what is the best foods that we can start to put into our fridge? And even now, there's a huge uh, movement in regards to people growing their own vegetables and, and uh, nutrition at home. So maybe we could discuss a little bit about, you know, what, what it is that could be grown um, at home easily as well. But let's start with uh, your knowledge around um, you know, the types of foods that we need to be eating right now and why? Yes. I, um, after being working with live, organic, raw, vegan food, I am following many masters. Um, uh, for example, Dr. David Job. He's based in the U.S. Also, uh, Gary Cousins. Mm -hmm. uh, also, Christian Darling in Norway and Brian Clement also. And um, everyone is um, talking about, first thing, organic nutrition. Perfect. That is one of the main important things that we should achieve, like organic with no chemicals, no poison, no nothing, just organic, clean food. There we can find our best nutrition based on high quality minerals and vitamins got it organic, yes fresh organic produce is a key thing actually you have different levels of on produce you you have a conventional conventional in every supermarket on on stores then on top of it organic food which is plenty of good quality minerals and vitamins and enzymes and everything then um the wild food is on on top of everything right. because wild is the uh, the highest in minerals and vitamins also biodynamic is very good if you have the um, chance to grow your own food is it's very important because it's uh, less expensive Mm -hmm. And you know exactly what is good and in what season and where and how to grow it. Um, other thing I consider very important is the supplements in this um, time uh, to build up the immune system. That's uh, one of my goals. Vitamin C is, I think, is the number one vitamin in this moment. 
vitamin C comes from citrix, for example, orange or grapefruit, lemons, but also there are other sources, like the number one, I think, is camu camu. It's a fruit from Peru. You can uh, try to find it in powder. Uh, online, in many countries, you can order it. It's not tasty at all, so it's good to have a small shot, um, with a, like a teaspoon, with a, a little water and a juice, a, a, a fresh juice on the side. So you go with the camu camu powder, which is not very nice, it's ugly, but it's super high in vitamin C, it's 60 times higher than oranges. That's amazing. Yes. I heard that um, in some hospitals in New York, they're treating COVID-19 patients with high, high levels of vitamin C. What, yes. why, why would that be? What, what does the effect of vitamin C have on the immune system? Because it, even on the bottles, it says immune system booster. So can you explain a little bit to Actually, everyone? When you consider um, when is the, the right season for oranges, it's autumn and winter. Right. So that help us to, to prevent uh, all kinds of diseases, like even flu, like simple flu. Yeah. No, like typical, the thing is you can, you can get uh, vitamin C in natural forms by having those citrix or camu camu or acerola or acai. They are fruits from uh, the Amazon yeah. mainly. Otherwise you can get some uh, ascorbic acid, which is a synthetic form of yeah. vitamin C. Uh, in this time of the, um, in the year, we are actually in, in season for oranges. It's uh, autumn here in Buenos Aires. In, in the north, it's getting the opposite, of course. Yes, springtime. Uh, anyway, in this time, uh, I, I was following recommendation from uh, Dr. Gary Cousins, how to build up the immune system. It's not just vitamin C. It's a, another vi vitamins that work together with the vitamin C. For example, vitamin um, D that comes from in the from the from sun, the sun. Or, yeah. or supplements, no, like for example, I don't want to show brands, but that this is a yeah. Uh, also, some food that has uh, vitamin D is very hard to find it in nature, but mushrooms has a vitamin D. If you have fresh mushrooms, you can place it in direct sunlight for about five minutes and it grows the vitamin C, it develops, goes wow. higher. Incredible. Yes, also um, one main ingredient that everyone is recommending um, is spirulina. Okay. Spirulina works really good with vitamin C because vitamin C helps to absorb and, uh, the iron. So yeah. they, they really well together. So a good example of a great breakfast, everyday breakfast can be grapefruit juice or any citric with a teaspoon of spirulina. Spirulina is the, one of the oldest. Um, it's descendant of the first life forms on earth. So it's very an ancient food and it's the highest in protein is 70% protein. protein. Plant-based protein, right? Plant-based so, yeah. protein. Very uh, effective in being able to be digested in, 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 a, in an easy way and going straight into the, into the body. Excellent. And also, it's good, it's plenty with minerals, alkaline minerals mm -hmm. that help um, uh, Avoiding the, the, the food that uh, make us acidic, like in, in general terms is uh, flour, uh, old bread, pasta, pizza, gluten, mm -hmm. alcohol, it takes us to the acidic side also, sodas, like uh, canned sodas and canned food, processed food, uh, sweet things like all the desserts and candies. Yeah. Uh, I said coffee, alcohol, and meat and dairy. 
Yeah. So everything takes us to the acidic side. So to con to contrast that is uh, it's good to have spirulina every day. Also, spirulina helps to get rid of heavy metals in our system. Great and this stuff. is uh, a very key important situation. Yeah. The so for spirulina. for our um, our viewers, um, then just quickly, what what would you say then is the most essential foods for them to have in their fridge or in their pantry or in their house um, during this this uh, time that they're home uh, you know basically what what do they need to have that's going to support them with their immunity um, every day other than what you've mentioned already <clears throat> also um, um, i would i would say uh, probiotics right probiotics like a kimchi or sauerkraut. You can get it from a different source like a kefir or kombucha or reshubelak. You can drink it that way. But having a healthy gut helps a lot mm -hmm. to absorb all the nutrients that comes from organic good food. I would say, and every day you, we should have a, a good salad, green, organic leaves like kale, arugula, spinach, uh, lettuce, uh, anyone you can find, like yeah. uh, dandelion, anyone. Also with some um, good forms of healthy uh, uh, fatty acid, like good, good fat, like avocados or even uh, tahini or butter, butters like almond butter or... Staying away from dairy, yeah. Yes, I would say. Right. Uh, and right. also, food, I would like to say that we should have in our fridge or freezer uh, some uh, frozen fruit to make smoothies. Like for instance, in my fridge, in my freezer, I have peeled bananas. Mm -hmm. and different types of organic uh, berries like blackberries, uh, blueberries and, and raspberries. So mm -hmm. I, just by using those fruits, I can make a good smoothie and I can add these good superfoods that we need in these times. Like for example, spirulina, uh, also maca, turmeric, all kinds of different supplements. I have a lot of uh, here around, but it's a good way to incorporate those uh, supplements by having smoothies. Also, by having smoothies, we are not wasting our energy to digest the food. Because that, this is one of the main things about live, raw, living foods. Mm -hmm. is we are not using our digestive enzymes in our pancreas to digest the food we eat. Do you, do, you, do you know how do you feel after having a barbecue, like a big steak? If you have to go for a run, it's not a good idea. Got Why? It. Because the energy is focused on digesting what we eat. So by having smoothies with supplements like spirulina and others, our body absorbs straight away, straight away all the nutrients, and we are not wasting energy on on trying to get some nutrients for the food. That like is good quality food. Just by adding just a little, like one cup of water, mineral, the best water you can, plus handful of berries, frozen berries, uh, one peeled organic banana, and then it's good to have other supplements like barley grass powder or white blueberry powder and it's that's the right time to add in the blender and have a good smoothie brilliant that can be one meal like smoothie can be one meal by adding those uh, supplements i would like to say like uh, we don't need to forget about other um, ingredients like collo colloidal uh, silver or echinacea in this time to yeah. avoid the, yes the virus the virus also 
following Dr. Gabriel Cousins' recommendation, I'm, I'm getting a few drops a day of monatomic iodine. Yeah. Um, Excellent. Which is a, a very good... Antiviral, food. antiviral, basically. Yes, yeah. antiviral. Also, zinc um, and magnesium, all the Greek uh, vitamins and minerals that we use, we should have all year around like yeah. we should have it on a daily basis yes great stuff so we've touched on uh foods that we you know we need to have in in our houses right now during this time we've also touched on um the types of supplements that we have and you've given us <coughs> tips on what what we should what, what a couple of quick meals that are easy to make full of nutrients and full of the right right stuff to build immunity like a salad with all the green leaves and a, and a yeah. smoothie etc that's but brilliant let me, yes let me uh, focus one thing in one moment in salad because salad for a meat eater is different than a salad for a raw vegan sure because salad is not a side dish salad is main dish so when i'm talking about a good salad is at least half an avocado in one salad or one avocado, a good amount of greens, and a heaping tablespoon of uh, sauerkraut. It's not just mm -hmm. a pinch. It's like a big enough amount of uh, of, of um, sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. It's very important. That takes our immune system up. And also, in that salad, we can or also uh, add some uh, grains if you want some cooked quinoa or other like garbanzo beans or whatever you feel like and that is another uh, opportunity to add some spirulina on it mm -hmm. like like uh, like shred cheese yeah. in the pasta same with spirulina so spirulina is good to Add it in salads, in any dish, raw dish, and in smoothies. Brilliant. Also. So this is part one of a five-part series that we're going to be spending with Diego. And we can already see the value that Diego is uh, going to bring to our tables and our, our tummies. <laughs> and uh, so super, super great stuff today in this uh, Snack Bite uh, training. Join us for part two, which is coming. Uh, we're going to be moving into, um, in, the, in the coming series, into food techniques and recipes. Diego is going to do some, some uh, of his magic for us. And uh, we're going to continue in the next series uh, into, you know, why is uh, all of the, why is raw food so, so awesome right now in this time for us? Um, and get into the real meaning of why we need to eat these types of foods um, and, and, and start to look at how we, we actually do that. So thank you for tuning in with us. Thank you, Diego. Thank you, Tim. We move, into, we move into the next session very soon. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.